Good morning. So my name is Rick. How are you, Ernst? This is pronunciation. Um, <laughs> this morning I would like to t talk to you a little bit about mob programming, uh, what it is, uh, why we started doing it with our team, and also what are, how does it affect our team. Um, so we're all familiar with some issues in the daily work probably, like waiting for things. Um, we write some code, we ask teammates for a review, and then we have to wait till the review is finished. Or we work on code, we have a question to a PO, a business analyst, and then yeah, we have to wait till he comes back to us. And all this slows down completing the story that you're working on. Um, also, context switching. Usually, people on the team are working on different stories. So when we ask our teammates, they have to make a context switch, and that takes time, effort, energy, and also rework. After reviews, usually there are some comments, or sometimes you have to do uh, rework your whole story. So, and also knowledge sharing. Uh, often not all the team is really involved in all the functionalities that's being built, and so not all the teams have the same, not all people of the the team have the same knowledge about uh, the features, actually. And there's this mob programming technique that can resolve some of these issues or help with it. Um, Woody Zool, who came up with this, he describes this, all the brilliant minds working at the same time, at the same thing, in the same space, and also at the, on the same computer. Um, so on the same thing, it means, yeah, just work on the same story, on the same task, with the whole team together, and at the same time, um, work on it at the same time. Not, don't separate yourself by time by working on uh, the review only after the code has been written. Uh, work on different times on the same thing. Um, in the same space, we sit all together in the same room, and on the same computer it means that actually all the real work, the coding, is happening on one computer. And that's probably the most controversial thing of it. Um, so this is what it looks like for, with our team. It really does look like teamwork, right? Um, so one of us is hooked up to the screen. Um, he's writing the code. You see some other people also have their laptop open. They might look up some documentation or look up some code. But actually, the real work is uh, being done, happening on one computer. And that guy that is hooked up to the screen, we call that the driver. I will go into the roles a little bit uh, next slide. Um, and all the other people, uh, they're coming up with ideas uh, to move the story, the implementation forward. And those are called the navigators. And you also see our PO uh, joining us. That's actually really important because he brings a lot of business knowledge. And that's really important to drive the story forward and to get the uh, thing as soon as possible on production to actually provide some business value. Um, and actually really enjoy it. Here you see some people smiling. And <laughs> as Huub told us this morning, fun is important. And yeah, so. Um, so the driver, that's uh, the person that is hooked up to the screen and writes the code. He basically translates the ideas of the team into working code. Um, one rule of this is to uh, all ideas must be spoken out. Um, it doesn't work if the driver just starts typing and all the team is watching. Then there's no real interaction going on. So all the ideas must be spoken out. Uh, so trust the navigators. So if the team tells, OK, let's, let's try this, yeah, then just try it. Don't question it too much. But just try and see if it works. And also, being the driver, it's, uh, it's quite intense and uh, can be quite tiring. So that role is rotated to the team uh, every 15, 30 minutes, not too long, to keep the team fresh and yeah, keep it interesting. So and then the, the navigators, they describe what the code must do. Um, so they instruct the driver first the level of intent, first maybe what, what should the feature do, or, and then 
one level deeper, okay, we need a method that takes A and returns B. So, and then they might, they might give some su suggestions about implementation depending on the experience and the knowledge of the driver, the person that hooked up to the screen. Uh, maybe it needs, maybe if he's junior, then probably needs some more hints to actually implement the thing. And also the, the navigators, they, they look ahead, so when the when code is being written for the implementation, the navigators already might think about what what kind of tests we need or some other or some other things on what what should be the next step in the story. Um, so that really keeps the code flowing onto the screen, basically. And so we started working like this uh, two and a half days a week in December six months ago, and we're still doing it because we really enjoy it a lot, and we also think it's really effective. Um, so, what are our experiences? First, we find that stories that are being worked on in the more programming sessions are resolved with way easier than stories that we work on in the tra traditional flow, like marketplace, and then uh, some Im so implementation, review, rework, and then testing. If you do it all together at the same time, it's way easier because yeah, you're discussing, for example, discussions are easier because yeah, you discuss about a real thing, code on the screen, it's not some abstract idea still, but it's really something that works and is visible for everybody. And also everybody can contribute from the beginning. Um, so that's ensures that we don't need any big reviews or rework on stories that we do during the more programming sessions. And also it's great for code quality because we all have the we have all the knowledge of the team there and also it's great for consistency, building a common view of what the code should look like. And uh, yeah. So uh, knowledge sharing is also great for knowledge sharing. Uh, knowledge about the, about the domain. Our PO was there, so that's really important that he is part of the team as well. Um, so we can share the domain knowledge. Like yesterday we had, uh, we were working on a story and then we saw some weird code that nobody really understood. And then we asked, our, we could right away ask our PO uh, what that feature is and then if you're still using it. And it turned out it was a really old feature that nobody was using, so we could delete it right away. We didn't need to create a ticket for it, marketplace it, but we could just do it right away. Uh, also knowledge about the technology. Uh, we also have different kinds of knowledge about different technologies in the team. If we have that there from the beginning, that's really helpful. And then we can learn from each other as well. And also uh, teaching each other like techniques like refactoring or s skills and knowledge, tips and tricks on the IDE. That's uh, also, I, I learned a lot in, during these sessions. Um, so how it affects the team? Well, it's a lot of fun, as you saw on the slide. Um, it's also great for team building, because we learn, learn about each other, not only, uh, well, we learn about the thought process of the others, what they value in work, how they approach work, and we all have different ways of approaching things. So some people might uh, prefer to write the test first, some people might prefer to do the implementation and then do the test. But during a more program session, you can, do, you can do both, and if you're open to work in a different way, you can learn from it and add different tools to your, to your knowledge. Um, but also, it, it can be can be intense and tiring, especially in the beginning, um, because you're not used to sitting together in a room and then talking a lot. And but yeah, rot rotating the driver role really helps a lot with it. And everybody should also just feel free if they're tired, just get out for two minutes, get a cup of coffee, and or just take take enough breaks. Because in the beginning, we also tended to forget about breaks. Um, yeah, so in the beginning we tended to forget about breaks because we're so focused on do, getting the work done. 
And usually if you're working on your own, it's really easy to just take a few mini breaks, just check workplace or new Puntanel. And that, that doesn't happen during the mod programming because you're not going to new Puntanel with the whole team. So if, if you're interested, um, well, for our team it's worked really well, so maybe it can work for your team, I don't know. But uh, yeah, if, you, if you're interested, just take half a day, uh, try it. Uh, keep an eye on the driver and navigate the roles and make sure you rotate them often. And yeah, just try it, take half a day. At worst, that you waste half a day. And that's it. Uh, thank you very much. Any questions? Uh, I should throw this thing right. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, uh, thank you. Um, in my experience, people think at different speeds. How do you prevent people from lagging behind or floating off? You explain things. It's, it's important that everybody understands the idea and you check with your teammates if they understand the idea. And sometimes I'm lagging behind because I don't have some knowledge about a topic, but then people can teach me or and also the other way around, all the topics, I might be faster and then I can teach them. Yeah, so. but the, the, the floating off uh, can still happen that someone during uh, the, the, the explaining who, who knows what's going on, he gets yeah. bored or starts thinking about other things and then you I might yeah. lose the... But if that person knows already what's going on, then it's also his or her responsibility to teach the others, yeah. I think. Okay. And no. if you're really working as a team, yeah, you should make sure everybody is involved and everybody should, is responsible for checking also if the team is really involved. Okay. And yeah. if you notice that people are floating off, then maybe it's time for a break also. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Any more questions? Does it work for all type of stories or uh, certain types? Um, well, in more programming sessions we tend to uh, work just on the most important story at that time. Um, but yeah, actually it works for all kinds of stories. Um, maybe for some big, straightforward monkey work things it's not that effective because it's not interesting for the whole team. It's just something that you, one person can just do. But we find that especially for complex stories that usually have quite a lot of review and rework, they tend to benefit the most from it, yeah. And also, um, if we have lo lots of open ends on our board, then a more program session is also great for finishing that off. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Hi, um, I was wondering, do you have any insight on like velocity? Does it impact velocity a lot or um, positive or negative? I don't have numbers, but the whole team believes actually it's more effective than working separately. Uh, so yeah. Like That's for complex stories, that it makes sense that it, it goes faster. Yeah, um, yeah, we believe it goes faster it's hard to prove that it actually goes faster, but um, I, yeah, I, for, for sure the cycle time of the story, the time between picking it up and deploying it to production and making sure it produces actual value, that's for sure a way shorter. Um, yeah. Cool. But you didn't like measure any velocity over time or? No. no okay, cool. And we, all, we only do it for two half a day, days a week. And s sometimes this half a day, it ends up being a whole day. So everybody's just getting in the, mo getting in the vibe of, yeah, let's get this done. And then maybe yeah, end up working a whole day on it. One last question. Yeah. 
Um, when you switch uh, driver, uh, how do you practi practically do that? Because oh, yeah. if you're working on one, if one person is driver, he's working on his, on his own computer. Do you switch computers or do you commit or how do you work that out? Um, that's a very good question. Um, in the examples from that you see on the internet, people are having just one computer set up, but we actually work on the on our own computers and just commit after 15 minutes or when we switch, and then we pull the code to the to the next driver. But I had some troubles with uh, with my laptop and the screen, so I usually just take the laptop over from the other. So it can be both. Actually, yeah, whatever works and. All right, thank you. Okay, thank you.